Hey people. Well, I thought since we visited the, uh, the 1976 uh, K14X, which is down there, I thought we'd pay a revisit to, to the other one I have. Uh, the other K14X from 1979, which as you can see has the three plastic blades. I got this, uh, I guess, about a little more than three years ago. Yeah, a little over three years ago. It's kind of one of the early fans from when I started collecting again. Yeah. Yeah, I got this, I guess, uh, sometime in early 2013. So, we'll have another overall look around and we'll fire it up. Yeah, once again, it's in that nice blue color. It's a little scratched up in places, as you can see. the other side. Turn around to the back. Yeah, it's got the good old Fasco motor and the two little two separate posts on which the motor is mounted. Kind of like the 20 inch boxers. And the date code on the motor is C79 meaning it was produced in March of 1979. Turn it back around. Review the top. Yeah, that yeah, that's where it's all scratched up and stuff. And seems to have a few paint splatters here and there. And it's got the later style handle. Which for the 14-inch boxes, I believe they started putting on them when they switch from the metal blades to the plastic ones and the knob's still kind of dirty in the center and though I've though I keep saying this time and time again uh, but but I don't care I like to say it anyway get a better view yeah it's got the sparkly sparklies yay Zesky Wolf's famous line. Okay, I'll run it again. Here's high. It's just as great as it always did. Medium. And as always, OFF spells off. Yeah, I think I re remembered what I was about to say when I kind of got stuck on my lines. This is a fan that started off my collection of mini box fans. Yeah, this is my first Lakewood mini boxer. Right now, all the small box fans are all the small box fans I own are made by Lakewood. Still have yet to find one under a different make. So there you have it. This is my 1979 K14X revisit. Thank you for watching.